For electrochemistry, one basic concept that we'll always use would be solution. Solution. And um, probably because we all left chemistry for a number of years, let's just refresh our mind. What is a solution? By definition, solution it should be a uniform, homogeneous mixture of two or more substances or components. So solution typically cannot be a pure substance. It consists of at least two or even more substances. And pay attention to this word, uniform or homogeneous, these two words are more or less the same, means it is the same everywhere when you look at the solution. You cannot find the regions that are significantly different from other regions. Typically, when we say a solution, in scientific terms, we quite often say it's a single phase. It's uniform in its chemical or physical characteristics. So an example would be hydrogen chloride solution I, or hydrochloric acid solution. Here we showed a photo of a HCl aqueous solution and we say it's homogeneous. When you look at the this liquid, it is, as you see, uniform or homogeneous. You cannot find the region that is different in color or density or concentration from other regions. That's what we say solution. And on the other hand, it's not pure substance, it's two substance. One would be HCl, the other would be water, H2O. And because it contains at least two substances, the solution should contain at least two or even more substances, then quite often a related concept would be so-called solvent, solvent, which is the continuous and quite often the majority substance that forms the medium in a solution. Okay, it's typically the majority as well as the continuous substance or component that forms the medium in a uniform solution. And this example, still here using the HCl solution, the water H2O would be the solvent here. Makes sense? Quite often people use water as a solvent for many, many things. In comparison, another related concept is called solute. Solute, you probably have heard of it. It is the, read to yourself, dissolved substance or dissolved component in a solution. It's quite often the non-continuous substance in a solution. For this example of HCl solution, the HCl hydrogen chloride would be the solute. Quite often, HCl would have been much less than the solvent or water. In comparison to solution, which should be uniform, homogeneous, and what we see here for HCl aqueous solution, that would be so-called mixture. Mixture, which also consists of two or more substance, but it is not homogeneous. Here we give another example of so-called water oil, let's say cooking oil mixture. And as you see here, probably you also see these things in some types of dec um, decoration, home decoration. The transparent, colorless, heavier part, we quite often would be water, while this yellow on the top, lighter or less dense 
substance or phase or component is the oil phase. And clearly you see here it is not homogeneous, not uniform. You go from region to region, that's a change in color, that's also a change in density, that's also change in many other properties such as dielectric constant, viscosity. So these types of system we would call them mixture because although it contains more than one substance it's not uniform. We don't call this solution. A solution has to be, as we said, uniform, homogeneous, and quite often we say them single phase. Okay, keep this in mind. Solution versus mixture. And in this class, we are quite often more concerned with solution.